Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. We're coming at you with a brand new video, so let's get right to it. So today we're on set with the VP of David Got Kicks. What's good everybody? Today we'll be showing you how to not do a custom that's going to be David's part. So let's get it popping. <laughs> so like I said, David's going to show us how to not do a custom and if you guys want to follow along and point stuff out in your head, please go ahead and feel free to do so. We will walk you through this process and we will show you what he's doing wrong if you haven't guessed it already. You guys catch it? It's kind of hard to catch. Actually it's not that hard. Look at that paintbrush. What the f What's wrong with it? Your paintbrush? Yeah, nothing wrong with it. It's all frayed, bro. No, it's not. It's fine. Look, look at these strokes, dude. They're fine. Wait, did you guys catch anything else? I don't think he prepped the leather. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. I totally forgot about that. But I thought if I do more coats, then it doesn't really matter. No, it matters. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. <gasps> what? The laces. That's going to be hard to take out with the paint that's still wet, but I'll just tuck them yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, you just tuck them in and right. you'll be fine, right? Yeah, I just gotta go around, I guess. So, so far we had three things, three or four things. We had the no prep on the leather, with the super thick coats of paint, not removing the laces, and using a frayed ass paintbrush. You sure you don't wanna remove those laces, fam? I don't... I feel like I'm too deep into <laughs> to take out the laces now. I mean. Yeah, you can't go back now. I, I got you. Um, ah, you got someone else. Nice. Actually, the laces cover that gray part real nice, so you don't really have to... It doesn't even matter. I mean, no one will know. Yeah, no one knows about that. <laughs> Trying to let that leather soak in the paint, huh? <laughs> i never seen that before. I don't think Sneakerhead in the Bay showed that soaking technique. You gotta soak it in the leather. <laughs> the dabbing technique, okay. Whoa, 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 what are you... What? I think you're supposed to let the paint dry before you add another coat, I bro. I think it was dry already. It looked pretty shiny on the thing, man. It's pretty dry to me. I mean, the customer didn't really ask me to prep it. He just said to paint down. He should have been more specific <laughs> then. Yeah, it's always the customer's fault, huh? Customer's never right. Let, let that paint soak in right there. Yeah, that's good? It gives it more more of a touch, more of a David more, Got Kicks look. Like texture, right? Yeah, okay. texture, okay. You that's know what, what you're going for, okay. Good. Oh. What, what the hell's that? I, you thought it was dry. I'll just, I'll just paint back over it. Oh, like that? Okay. Are you serious? What? Oh, I didn't even realize. Oops. You just paint over it, right? You just told me that. Okay. No, that's fine, yeah. That's good? Yeah, I gotta get all this paint off my finger now, so just wipe it off. I don't got a napkin near me, so this kind of feels like a napkin. That feels like a napkin. You're good. I'm good. I think I'm done. You think you're good? Yeah, look at it. It's pretty sick. That's pretty sweet, bro. I think you have to do the black on the elephant print now. Let's, uh, let's do that. So David's going to start the blacking out of the elephant print right now. Again with the dabbing technique. I'll just go back over, it's okay. okay. Dang it! Wow. Dang it! This is why you use a brush. That is a brush! That actually works. A smaller brush. Well, I found it laying there, so I thought I could use it. There, we just scratch it off, and it should be fine, right? I don't need to prep it. Who prep shoes? So David thinks that he's pretty much done. He's just wrapping up the elephant print a little bit. Um, I think I got it all. You got it? Yeah. So this is the shoe. We're taking just a quick sneak peek of it. It looks beautiful. Thank you. I think it's fine if I don't paint all this because the customer said he's gonna he's gonna wear it at night. So if, as long as he wears it at night, he'll never know that there's some silver. I just don't want to get too close to the midsole. All right. Yeah, dude, they look good. Thank you. So this is the aftermath right here. You have a whole bunch of uneven paint on this shoe. It's super glossy. There's parts that he didn't hit up. It's very sloppy. And we're gonna make something like this. It looks like 
a beginner did it. You know, something like this. Look a little something like this. A little more professional. I just wanted to make it very clear that whenever you have a job that looks like this, that just looks straight up sloppy, it's never a good idea to paint over it. You want to start with a fresh and clean slate. So what we got to do is remove all of this excess paint off, get rid of this garbage. We're going to use some cotton balls and some Angelus Leather Prepare and Deglazer. We're going to rub it down, get most of it off. Let's get right to it. Pull up left, pull up right, pull on side, got my wife, kiss me when I try to drive, got on my tie that while I talk that shit, girl, blah, 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 real niggas is by my side, yeah, the type that speak they mind, they don't keep nothing inside, if they see something fishy, they like me to say, yeah, that's why, if you keep that shit inside, you might as well just stay So this is where we're at with the custom right now, I removed most of the paint, just keep in mind that a lot of it smudges, so you won't be able to get all of it off, but you just want to make sure you get as much off as possible. Now what we have to do is just prep the leather. It's pretty much the same process, but I'm gonna be a little bit more careful when I do it. I'm just gonna focus on areas that I missed, and then this should be a good base for us to paint on. Hey girl, won't you stay tonight? My mom don't be saying shit, but don't you make no noise or else my mom gon' go tell tell you shit. Got my phone by the pillow, get gone by the printer, get she nasty, she gon' swallow that shit. Oh, that's a winner, got this call for the winner, and I went down to the city, cut the witch up, leave my bitty, then she pissed up on my hoodie, yup, yup, David, you all in, y'all spend all this time in college, yo, you came back with your head on right in, now you just be rhyming, yo, and now I gotta deal with all that mess. Here's the final product. If you prepped it right, you should have a sticky feeling. Hear that? It's nice and sticky. So this will let the paint adhere properly when you put that layer on. And we're gonna put a very, very light coat. The first coat should always be light. So keep that in mind when you're painting. I'm gonna give you guys tips on that right now. Let's do it, man. When David painted the elephant print, it was after the uppers were already painted. You want to strategically decide what you're going to paint first. So if you think about it, if the uppers are already done and I slip up on the elephant print, I'm going to get black on the uppers. And black is pretty hard to cover up. So what I'm going to do is paint the black first, so when I put the coats on here, it will automatically cover up all of the areas that I mess up on. Of course this is going to depend on the custom that you're doing. There's different kind of colors and there's different kind of mixtures that you could do this up in. But that's what I'm going with for this custom. Black first, and then do the uppers. Before we start painting, I want to make sure that I have the right size paintbrush. You saw the one that David was using. That one was way too big and it was way too frayed. If you have a frayed paintbrush, I would highly recommend to just dump it out and get a new one because something like this will make your line work look a lot more clean. So for the elephant print, we're going to be using flat black Angelus leather acrylic paint. Always shake up your paint bottles before you start painting. And if you want to get close to this toe cap area without damaging or getting paint on this area all you do is use an up and down motion like this and that will get you very close to the edges and then you want to smooth this out with this motion like so and like I said we're going to cover this area up anyway so it doesn't matter if you slip up that's why you need to strategically choose what parts you're going to paint first Shut me up and put it in your mouth. Got it for two, two, spin it for one, one. Love what I do, oh yeah. Man, that shit fun, that's fun. Eating some food, yeah. Watch it with run, oh yeah. Fuck it, I'm cool, okay. Fuck it, I'm young. I got no limits, I be wildin'. Yo, then you wildin', cuz yo, you want some shit, cuz you wildin'. I got no limits, I be wildin' Yo, David, you wildin' on that shit, cause yup, you wildin' Yup, you yeah, just be wildin' Yeah, 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 pull up left, pull up right Jeremy's got Adida I got that shit from overdose, I swear them dudes is really nice Now that the paint has dried on the elephant print, we can start working on the uppers First of all, I wanna mention the brush Make sure you wash your brushes every single time you finish painting if you don't, the paint will get kicked up on it and it will start to fray, kind of like what David's did. And it's also a good idea to wash your brush so then you don't start mixing colors. Since I painted black on the elephant print, if the paintbrush had a little bit of that black and it mixed with the Concord paint, it would make the uppers look a little bit more dark than my other side and they wouldn't look even. Just another quick tip. This is just personal preference, but I like the dull look when it comes to painting my sneakers. Most of the time, I hate it when it looks glossy, so I added a little bit of duller. A little bit of duller goes a long way and I've already added it to this paint box. If you want to get all technical with the measurements, definitely check out the video that Angelus put out. Tyler gets into it very detailed. Remember when David did the super thick coats? It took forever to dry and he just kept adding wet coat after wet coat. That's not what you want. You want to work up on the layers and the base layer will help you build up the other layers. So very light, 
even brush strokes like this. And it's okay if you don't get full coverage since this is the first coat. So we're gonna get coverage like this. And we're just gonna go one way. Try to go one way. If you have little cracks like this, you can go up and down, but make sure to smooth it out to one way when you're done. It's very easy, very simple. Like I said, very light coats. That's what you want on this, and just smooth it out. Very simple. And some of you might have a difficult time on the elephant print. To get that clean line, you just take your brush and do that same technique that I taught you before. That up and down motion, and then smooth it out. If you feel comfortable enough, you could just smooth it out in one motion like this. I be at my crib thinking about bitches while I'm reading. My ex, she hit me up, and yo, I told her ass to beat it. No, really, beat it, touch it. Oh, yeah, goddamn girl. I just finished painting the top part. We gotta do this little guard right here. I'm gonna show you how to make it look like you have a clean line just going right through there. So you gotta get a little bit of paint. A little bit. And then we're gonna try to do this whole thing in like two or three swipes. So, here goes the first swipe. Just get very close to it. Something like that. And then just get the paint going like that. And if you want to get a little bit closer, use that up and down technique. I'll push the paint in and it shouldn't get it on the elephant print. It'll just get it in the wedge. So you have a very clean line. And you just continue. Do it over here a little bit and eventually when this thing finishes you won't see that black underneath anymore because we'll have full coverage we're gonna let this dry for about 15 to 20 minutes the dope thing about light coats is that they don't take that long to dry they minimize brush strokes and they provide a solid layer for you to build your other layers on it's time to throw down that second coat Before I hit up the third coat, I'm gonna make sure I take care of these raw edges right here. Some people miss this when they do customs. Sometimes they don't do this on purpose, and sometimes they just forget to do it. So I like to do the edges right here. Just make sure you use a nice paintbrush for this. I have a thinner one, as you can see. It's very easy, you just put a little bit of paint and then just touch the edges up. This requires a little bit more time than the other parts of painting the shoe, but I think that it's definitely necessary in my opinion. Sometimes people ask me how many coats they should put or how many layers they should put on the uppers of their shoes. And I honestly think that that's a good question because the layers that David did, they were very thick. He didn't let them dry and stuff like that, that will affect the durability of the shoe. So you wanna make sure to add the least amount of layers possible while still getting full coverage. So as you can see, I have a little bit of darker spots like right here, it's a little bit darker than here. So what I'm going to do is add as many coats as it takes to get that full coverage. Now just make sure you're adding very light coats. The more coats that you put, the higher chance you have of it cracking in the future. So you want to minimize it as much as possible. Now just speaking out of experience, it usually takes about three to five coats depending on the color that you're using to get full coverage. Just by looking at this one, the third coat should give me full coverage, but if it doesn't, I'll have to add one more layer and that should be good. 